Uh, I'm a big fan of momentum in general. And my question is, when I feel that I'm building positive momentum and I'm feeling great and excited and clear about what I want, and then something comes along, unwanted that happens, and I think to myself, what the hell, I didn't attract that. Why when I'm feeling so good and so great, is it possible for me to attract something so unwanted? So are you saying that you think that you simultaneously have two different momentums going? In other words, momentum about wanted and momentum about unwanted? Is that possible? Well, let's talk about it because when you focus upon something, you gain momentum. So do you believe that you hold your focus specifically on wanted things or do you move about a bit in terms of subjects? Well, I'd like to say that I only focus on wanted things, but if I'm being honest, it's a little bit of both. Well, there are two possibilities. One is that every subject is really two subjects. So as you think you're focused upon what you're wanting, really you're focused upon the absence of it. But that's not the way you presented this. You said, I've got positive momentum going. Mm -hmm. So what do you mean? For example, like, for example, everything seems to be going great with my job and I'm doing something that I really love and enjoy and I'm fortunate to be doing something that's what I really want to be doing. And everything seems to be going great in my relationships. I'm happy. Everybody around me seems to be in harmony with how I'm feeling and we're all feeling good. And then all of a sudden something happens and now I don't have the job that I did have that doing what I love and in one day it's just gone. So the question that we have to you is with the going of the job, does the momentum have to go too? this is the crucial question. And if the answer is, well, yes, of course, then that means you weren't garnering natural momentum. You were living conditional love. In other words, the condition was fostering the way you felt. It's easy to feel good under some conditions and not as easy to feel good under other conditions. But the best analogy that we have that explains this as a footing or a basis is a woman was presenting to us a similar complaint one day. She'd gotten a ticket in traffic and she couldn't understand why that would happen to her because she was flying high when it happened. In fact, she said, I was listening to one of your recordings. <laughs> <laughs> so sticking it to us and we said well what was the ticket for and she said for not wearing a seat belt and we said well how do you feel about that and she said I think wearing seat belts betrays my freedom I don't think anybody has the right to tell me whether to wear a seat belt or not and we said well do you usually wear it no I look for every reason not to sometimes I pretend like I'm wearing it when I'm not wearing it but I don't want somebody telling me what to do about that so as we all listened to her it was evident that she had a vibrational bugaboo about that subject so we explained to her that she's moving through traffic and feeling pretty good about most things but she's got momentum going now the question that you're putting here is is it possible to have momentum going on more than one disc what do you think given from this in other words do you spend all of your time thinking about this or do you think about that sometimes and you think about this sometimes and you think about this sometimes and does that mean you sort of have a grid median that's happening a sort of grid average but do you have the ability to always stay in that average or do different things spike your vibration relative to different things in other words if 17 seconds and another and another and another will increase momentum of something doesn't it make sense that as you go through your day you'd light up about different things at different times through the day and a universe that's really responsive to you is saying here you go 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 that's why we want so much to assist you in gaining control of your vibration we've never said to you achieve vibrational alignment and it's yours forevermore like a college degree that you hang on your wall it either is or it isn't in the moment and what you're doing as you're moving through this is you're working the bugs out of the things that commonly come to you because there really aren't that many reasons for vibration and there are thousands of impetuses for them in other words let's talk about the grids in emotional terms you're gonna like this so let's say you've been feeling unappreciated and let's call that an emotion 
well unappreciated as you get that not being appreciated momentum going it can show up at work it can show up with strangers it can show up with traffic it can even seem to show up with inanimate objects it can show up with insects <laughs> it can show up with strangers dogs in the park in other words that general feeling of being unappreciated now you got there by exposure to all those experiences but since your vibrations where you last left it then you could have a vibration going on not even realize that you've got it going on and law of attraction saying see here's a manifestation that matches that feeling see here's another manifestation that matches that feeling and most people as they have the manifestations which is what is the grid filling in it's the realization of the vibration you've got going on then you just practice that vibration all the more don't you in other words aren't you more likely to practice the vibration of not being appreciated when someone has sort of disrespected you in some way yes but do you have to do you have other choices do you have to let them make the statement about how you feel or can you feel as you choose to feel regardless of the way they have behaved because their behavior isn't about you is it it's about them and once you start making those distinctions so when you feel loved when you feel loved oh isn't it nice to have someone that you respect holding you as their object of attention and loving you doesn't that just feel wonderful and doesn't your world start to shine in different more wonderful ways when you feel loved and that sort of makes you say well now you've loved me you can't stop because <laughs> I like I like what's erupted from being loved and I'm sort of dependent upon your gaze for how I feel and and you know I've got a lot invested now because since you love me my life got better in this way and this way and this way and this way and this way so I need some vows from you I need some promises from you <laughs> That no matter what, no matter how rotten I am, no matter how undisciplined I am, no matter how not in the vortex I am, that you will love me anyway. <laughs> and the wise person would say, what? <laughs> Don't ask me for unconditional love. I'll love you when I'm hooked in with love and I probably won't when I'm not. And if you're dependent upon me being hooked up, you're in trouble. Because <laughs> I can't control myself yet. This is all new to me this is all new to me and yet you want to make other people responsible for how you feel don't you so now let's think about these discs that we have fashioned you like the idea of them and let's give them emotional titles so there's love and appreciation grid and there's disrespected grid and there's overwhelmment grid and there's anger grid and there's depression grid in other words it doesn't matter how you got there if that's what you've got going on life's gonna reflect those things back to you you just have to ask the question do I have to stay with my previously chosen momentum that's the question do I have to stay with my previously chosen momentum or can I lay new pipes so you can lay new pipes but it's not gonna be the easiest thing that you've ever done but you can do it can't you and the nice thing is the more you do it the better you feel and the better you feel the more good stuff comes and the more good stuff comes the better you feel and the better you feel the more good stuff comes till pretty soon you begin to feel invincible and we just love it when something happens to somebody who's sure they're there when they're not that shows them that they still have work to do that's all happens to Esther every day every day every day there's something that happens that lets her know that she's been choosing a disc that is not serving her well and that she could do better if she would focus and she wants to you see